wonder if the gods are watching me. next.
done. I never believe this. Seems like a good moment to talk. If you think this is funny. I've got a long road ahead. Dive, so that's progress. before me. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Speak. I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Yes. That is true. I am cold as the sea of night.
But you have stoked fires I didn't know I possessed. I swear, you would tear the horns of one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearn. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Isn't it obvious? I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it the same. Do you? Your loss, I fear. One day soon. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt. And you will wish you could return to this lost moment. I see nothing. All's well that ends. Not bad as it could have. My faith will guide me. No time to rest. I have a lot on my mind. How can I help? Think of it as... Tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you. The battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I'd like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. No news. Drown? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people. Well met. He brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottom coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Do not trust Raphael. Is that plain enough? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost will be too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. May the darkness protect 
I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. There's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of, of the night and lady of lost. I assume. My lady Shah is the night. Yeah. The patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide, we act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand glorious and naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. We tear down the lies the world is drunk of, the institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship. The lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations. Fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering. Death, even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. You've a habit of saying all the right things. Either you're very glib or we're kindred spirits. Maybe both know myself. But yes, once we've saved ourselves, we can talk more on this. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Take me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Blue Knights tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night kids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldgate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be taken lightly. Shah will reward me when I seed. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Time to press ahead.
I promised I'd be I... back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. From transforming into a mind flayer, yes. yes. But that is not the only thing these parasites can do. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot. And I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, it isn't safe. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before it happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite give you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on... <sighs> There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I can never take for granted how someone might react when they learn right. I worship Lady Shah. Easier to just keep it a secret and take the risk. But you showed you had an open mind. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. At least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. 
There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Star, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's Order. sword. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelief and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in it. But there's a simple answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. For this, I hope my time yeah. will come. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful.
careful, I mind. A quick touch. What are we here? Can't give up now. Empty. Have to keep going. Just another crate. Trust no one. I'll just help myself. So long thinking about down here. I'd much rather be outside with the sun on my skin. If you're going to complain the whole way, by all means, return topside. You could use the cover. Wish I had a bag of holding. Should my step. Lots in here. So, you and Lazel seems to. Please don't remind me. 
but keep your guard up. Uh, note. Just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've uh. earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching oh. up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing! We can finally leave. But perhaps... We need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Excellent. Lead the way. Just thought of something. <laughs> Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for. Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. And yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. It's not talking enough for my liking. Share a bottle with me? It's quite a bottle. I liberated one of the finer vintages earlier. Best enjoyed someplace private, I think. We should wait a little while. Until they have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. I'm perfectly fine without that poison. Thanks. Fate. Spins along as it should. Dost thou I require a new ally? Or perhaps a resurrection instead? We were brave and pride them with a thunder wave. You saw how I love you very dearly. Yes. Never listen. Are you going to share the last of that wine? Um, no. Yeah, else. I was hoping you wouldn't as I was gone. <laughs> oh, the blade doesn't sulk. I was just reflecting on what has happened. And not wanting to be Mr. Serious at a celebration. I know how to have fun. I have lots of fun every day. Saving the people of the Grove was all the satisfaction I could ask. I don't need a party on top of that. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. These people are still in danger. Karlak, the creature from hell, will still threaten them. 
as will a thousand other perils. They aren't ready to get on the road on their own. You've given me some just by being here. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. So I'm alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, tonight to remember. You've made sure of that. Think of it. No caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland? Hush you, and behold! I'll have you know he can make them blue. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. I need to dance. No. No, I need to lie down. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. Yeah. Don't tell Roland, but his magic show might be the no. height. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turn. Thank you. I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure which I to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare a moment. moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make Be merry. With. Just the two of you. There's I'm something unspeakable about Shallow Heart. But I mean that in a good way. She seems to me like a bud on cusp of bursting into a rose. That, or deadly nightshade. Far be me, of course, to question your tastes. Jealousy is in the eye of the beholder, or something along those lines. The wine might be befuddling me a smidge. Point is, I have hope. Each sunrise may yet be the one to coax our budding bond to blossom. But I think it's fair to say, it won't be today's. Now please, go oh, and enjoy your evening. This won't be the first party I spent moping in self-indulgence with a bottle of wine for company. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow.
Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next oh. song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? One raunchy ballad coming up. Just a moment, maybe. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly I am. Cheers to many more like this. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast, saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar oh. wine. It's a heavy, rich red, dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I, I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Oh, what the hell's sex, passion? Fun. It's easy for some. You and Shadowheart seem to have a connection. It looks very sweet. Not what I call passionate or interesting, but sweet. I'm sure it'll be adequate. But you go ahead. Have fun. I have seen Yithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fan to blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. A starian looks particularly tempting. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. You came through for us. That's a change for most adults I know. And that is out the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Don't forget our little agreement. As soon as things quiet down here...
You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, mm. marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things they're lost to me right now. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? Oh, I'm perfectly fine, but the mood is well and really dead. Anyway, thank you for tonight. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another a such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Tower, but it's complicated. The journey, specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. Cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented, dangerous souls.
Nature speaks to me. Birds report what they've seen. And I've overheard Gomes speaking of it too. Moonrise is the heart of all this. I'm sure of it. You go overland. Along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicians, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicians? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm in his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching this, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. I've chosen a successor as first Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already dispatched to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. Rogue needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I... You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Father. Blessings to you. Started one up close. Closer than most would care to be to the things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, 
I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. If you witness the fall of Moonrise, still draw breath. Catherick Thorm Unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the ways they contain out here, first hand. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch. Thank you. I had a fear time in your company would prove fruitful.